I'm Leela. I live in a grade two listed building, circa 1780s. It's a timber frame property here in Ashburton. The idea of today anyway is to, is to really look at how you're using energy for mm -hmm. both heating and for electricity within the property. So some people just care about energy and carbon, other people it's all about money, some mm -hmm. people it's a mixture of both. I think I would be going for the combination. For the combination. We're going to go around and measure up, look at the different fabric types. So you said that the walls are timber frame with lay and plaster. Mm -hmm. um, look at the ceiling, look, you know, look at what kind of insulation levels you've got up there. And then we can actually quantify, theoretically anyway, where we think heat is going in the property. How many baths a week do you have? I have a minimal bath. Sort of literally inches. A typical shower is 10 litres a minute. Right. So if you were to have a five minute shower, it would, be the same. It would probably be the same amount of water well, that, that, that you're using. That was my thinking. In terms of insulation, so you've got 270 mil up here in the loft in some parts. Other parts, we've got less than that. And then obviously this big area here where we've got storage, there's no insulation. We're going to suck air out of the property. And that higher pressure is going to try and force air into the property. So this bathroom window, which Layla's been saying is broken, you can see the extensive blue cold air coming in through that gap at the top and also down the sides. Look at that. All along the side of these windows, you've got cold air just infiltrated. Can you see that? Yes. Yeah. You've done, you know, you put in low energy light bulbs and you're, everything's really sort of energy efficient from an electrical perspective and you're only using 1100 kilowatt hours a year of electricity which is one third of the average sort of home in Britain. Well it's been quite an extraordinary and very interesting uh, enterprise and it's very very graphically demonstrated to me the significant amount of heat loss that goes on around you know the, especially the windows because they're ill-fitting they're Georgian uh, windows and they they're not not designed to keep in uh, obviously energy. Okay so we've just finished our home energy assessment at this wonderful property and there are four key things that stand out. Number one is the electricity bill. The homeowner is paying the highest tariff because of her low electricity use and she needs to look at other tariffs by shopping around. Number two is the glazing. The single glazed sash windows are very drafty and she needs to look at ways to re reducing the energy loss through the glazing. Number three, the radiators have no reflectors behind them and also no thermostatic radiator valves to control the temperature that's coming out. And finally, just general draft proofing throughout the property, the loft hatch stood out as cold air coming in through the thermal imaging and that should be looked at.